All right, everybody, Patrick Thompson here at Anytime Fitness Peoria, head personal trainer. I'm gonna take you through a workout that you can do at home. If you have a set of dumbbells, that'd be perfect. If you have a resistance band, that would work as well. Um, and then if you have any other items that you can use for a workout, that's cool. Use your imagination, add that in. If I'm not doing that, go right ahead. Um, the purpose of this workout is to, one, get you up and moving, get the blood flow going, get your muscles firing, get you in a state of mind that leaves you happier than when you started this workout. So, with that being said, I'm going to go through the warm-up with you, then we're going to get rocked into the dumbbell complexes, and then from there, you'll be done with the workout. So, the first exercise we're going to do is a warm-up exercise. <clears throat> you can use a band for some banded pull-aparts. Pulling apart, squeeze those shoulder blades together. If you have that band, or if you don't have a band, you can go ahead and do small arm circles. Forward, backwards, just getting the blood flow in those shoulders there, making sure you're nice and loose in the upper body. Next up, we're gonna do some knee hugs. Grab that knee, pull it to the chest, Stretching quads, glutes a little bit, maybe your lower back as well. You can also do standing in place high knees if you'd like. Whatever works for you. If you have knee issues, don't do the high knees. Next up, heel to butt. Just grabbing the part of your ankle or the tongue of your shoe. like that. Get nice and loose for the workout, making sure the blood flow is going. All right, next up we're going to do some toe touches, dynamic toe touches. Get a little bit more hamstring activity here. Standing nice and tall. Down to the toes, up, toes, back up. When doing this, you want to make sure you're keeping your spine in a neutral position. No flexing the lower back. Your chest up, hips go back, touch those toes. Down and up with it. That's the warm up, nothing crazy. Now we're gonna get into the actual workout aspect of this. I'm gonna start with a light pair of dumbbells. So if you have multiple weights, go ahead and start with like the 10, 12, 15 pounds, or even lighter if you need. That way you have a one round of a nice little warm up for you, okay? So let's get started. <clears throat> this workout is called a dumbbell complex workout. You're not gonna set the dumbbells down at all. So with that being said, it's gonna help elevate your heart rate. You'll feel some burning in your muscles and it's just gonna help you burn off some extra calories and steam for this workout. So first things first, Dumbbell cleans, we're gonna do 45 seconds worth of cleans. So Jose, if you wanna get that timer rolling here. Then we're gonna do overhead pressing. With the overhead pressing, it's gonna hit the shoulders. Then we're gonna do some squats, throws, and an RDL. So dumbbell cleans, hips go back, hips come forward, pop up, all dynamic here. This is for 45 seconds, so you need to make sure that you are not rushing the exercises here. Nice fluid movements, good rhythm with it. Heart rate's already getting up there. If you have a my zone belt, which many of our members and clients here at Anytime Fitness, Peoria, in Germantown Hills, they have a my zone belt. All right, two seconds going to the overhead press. That my zone belt will help you track your calories and your heart rate. With the overhead press, you're going up, controlling it down, up, controlling it down. Breathing in. Bracing those core muscles, squeezing those glutes as well. If you have any shoulder issues, bring it to a neutral grip. Control down, down, up, 
Control down. Exhale as you press. Inhale back down with it. Jose, you want to say that stopwatch up there for me? So I can see it? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Ten second rest here. Hold on to those dumbbells. That first uh, exercise and second one, I skipped the rest. So we're just going to keep on holding the dumbbells here. Next up is bent over rows here. Oh, excuse me, you're going to squat. Sorry, gotcha. Squats here. Sit back, knees out. Standing up. Hips back, knees out. Back up with it. Glutes go back first. Knees go out. Holding this in a neutral position with my hands at my deltoids. Keep my upper back nice and tight. 10 seconds. Inhale down, exhale up. Five. I stopped a little early, that's okay. Now, we're gonna be doing dumbbell bent over rows. With this one, bend it at the waist, shoulders back, chest up, pull back and squeeze, control it back down. Control up, back down. As you come up, you're exhaling, inhaling back down. Nice and controlled. You should feel this in your hamstrings, glutes, maybe your lower back. If your lower back starts to tighten up, stand up, rest, go back down with it. Less than 10 seconds. All right. One more exercise here, the RDLs. Probably sweating a little bit now, heart rate's probably a little bit elevated. Make sure you're breathing. Stand tall, inhale at the top. Hips go back, do the stretch. Back up. Inhale down. Hips come forward. Back up with it. Keep your shoulder blades pulled back. Your lats tucked back into your back pocket. Down, back up. 20 seconds left. Keep on breathing. And good. With that, that's round one. We'll take a little bit of a break, grab some water. If you need to tell your kids to kind of leave you alone during your workout, let the dogs out, go ahead and do so. Um, here at Anytime Fitness Peoria, what we do is we have various classes throughout the day, um, morning, midday, evenings. A workout like this is similar to what we do do at classes. Um, <clears throat> typically we have stations throughout the, the turf here, here or at Germantown Hills. Um, the purpose of this workout is to mainly make it to where you guys can do this at your home. Maybe you're at a hotel, maybe you're in your apartment, whatever it might be but you can put your phone up, put your tablet up, follow this workout, have a good workout, so then that way you can go on with the rest of your day. So, about another minute, <clears throat> we're gonna get rocking again. If you have any questions on this, let us know, we'll be happy to answer those questions. Also, share this with your friends, um, it's for anyone to see, so we want you to be able to use this workout for your day, maybe daily, every other day, whatever it might be. Just something to help you get through your day. Getting this nice little timer all set.
sit back, push those knees out, feel the floor with your heels and the toes when you're going down. Spread that floor. If it gets to a point on round two, maybe three, four, whatever it might be, you need to drop down, go to a goblet squat. Just cut the weight in half, made the exercise a little bit easier, but I didn't stop moving, that's key. 15 seconds. Inhale down, exhale up. Two, All right. Get a little sweat going. RDLs is next. Excuse me, rows. Rows are next. Whew, this is what happens when you do this on the spot. Corona 19. <laughs> when you're doing these rows, don't kick your chin down. Keep your chin up a little bit. Look ahead about 15 feet in front of you. Squeeze those elbows back. Exhale, inhale back down. We are halfway here. Another modification with this one, change it up a little bit. You can drop a dumbbell, do some switch rows. You need to rest one arm throughout this exercise. Again, keeping the core tight. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. You got eight seconds. All right. Last round coming up. 10 second rest, last 60 seconds. <clears throat> With this, you can uh, split your stance up if you'd like. One foot forward, one foot back. Slight bend of the knees, push the butt back, down, back up. You want to feel this in the front hamstring, whichever foot is forward. About 20 seconds in, I'm going to switch. Hips go back, standing nice and tall. Halfway. Alright, now I'm going to go back to the normal stance, hips back, inhale down, exhale up. Last 12 seconds, let's get it. Four. Round two done. So, we've completed a warm up a first round and a second round. Did a little bit of modifications on the second round, just kind of spice it up a little bit for you. Now, what you can do, um, that was about 15 to 20 minutes there. What we can do is repeat those two rounds, replay this video back, go back through it. Or you can go to one of our next videos led by myself again, or Amber, who is a, also another phenomenal personal trainer here at Anytime Fitness <coughs> Peoria in Germantown Hills. If you guys have any questions, you want a paper workout, digital workout, another video, ask us, let us know. We are here to help you to make healthy happen here in Central Illinois at Anytime Fitness. Any questions, let us know.